stay welcome namaste i'm manish and i'd like to share with you how you can work on opening out the shoulders now this is very fascinating because neuroscience is today showing a proving to us that as long as your spine is straight as long as you're standing straight you can never be depressed now please let this run in your mind you know this from your life experience nobody you've ever encountered who's come to you like this standing straight and saying for example like this saying oh, i'm really depressed today generally this would be the body language and yoga has understood this millennia ago this body mind connect therefore it's very important if you want to work on the mind to work together somato psychic as long as my spine is straight my attitude to life is always very positive as long as my shoulders are like this i cannot really be tremendously joyful there will be something low in my energy levels so let's work with that in mind it's not just about the pain it is about your vision of life as long as your spine is straight your vision is something else when you're like this the chances you don't take any risks uh your vision of life changes it's just about surviving from one meal to the other from one day to the other whereas here you have the opportunity to have a vision a sort of complete potential the first thing that i'd like you to do is just a simple neck rotation they all interconnected neck and shoulders change we call this as pavan muktasan releasing the air in the joints now shrug release shrug release shrug rotate shrug rotate now rotate rotate and rotate reverse rotate rotate okay yeah yeah when we look at the shoulders we're looking at the deltoid muscle mainly deltoid but we also look at the trapezius this muscle here that if somebody were to massage you you feel like you're in heaven it takes all the stress so that's important to release that trapezius often then you've got the lats latissimus got the erector spine you've got the pectorals all this area works together this is a stretch that's very important most people today in our generation have slightly rounded shoulders because of excessive laptop smartphone usage i was reading somewhere that the best way to use the smartphone so that you don't hurt your shoulders your phone is like this now which idiot is going to be doing work like this you're obviously going to be doing it like this and that rounds the shoulders yeah, so it's impractical and therefore you got to take care of the body maybe your ear like this and over a course of time you want to be able to wow just open this out super super let's get to work the first stretch that we're going to take on the first asana we're going to take on is the hand movement from garud asana or eagle right hand here left underneath if this is your flexibility that's fine those who can palm on palm stretch the hands up a little you'll find now very beautiful the scapula the shoulder blades are getting stretched apart a little bit the back's getting a bit rounded upper back ah this feels so nice so nice and change change let's do it on the other side so you can close your eyes fix the eyes at the eyebrow center and now take five deep breaths i hope you're all comfortable with ujjayi pranayam you can refer to another video on pranayam to learn that
a pump. The next movement that you do, I hope that feels good for you, open out here. So just hold your wrist. So one hand holds the other. Dvikonasana. Wow. Personally, I love opening out the shoulder area. It allows me to completely express myself. Yeah, over the course of time, you'll be able to lift this hand higher. Maybe initially you're just here, but over the course of time, this will come out. Wow. Gomuk Asana. So you can either sit like this or the classical way would be to sit like this. One leg is here, the other leg is on top. You're like this. Right knee is on top, so take the left hand up. Interlock the hands, the fingertips. Look straight, breathe in and out. Now, if you're not able to hold the hands, you can even hold like a towel or some sort of a belt. Uh, this is a very beautiful, one of my favorite postures. Gomukasana is one of the classical asanas. Even in texts that don't mention Shirshasana, the ancient texts, they mention Gomukasana. One of my favorites, so I just thoroughly enjoy this. Legs the other way. And now, Excellent. So these are simple work for the shoulders thus far. When you want to sort of stretch the shoulders even more, it's good to begin at this prasarita, padottan. Take the hands here into dvikon and just let the hands start to stretch. Slow breathing. Excellent. Another range of work is this. Keep the toes curled. We're not really working on the lower back currently. Keep the toes curled. Open out a shoulder. Let this drop back. So without having to bear any load, and then you can flatten this. Getting a nice opening here. Again, keep the toes curled, change the hand. Excellent, and flatten. Superb. As a counter pose, your ear, just stretch. Drop back. What you do now is take the right hand here, have the shoulder between your knees. That's true. Just 
change. So go to the other side. So this shoulder is getting a lovely stretch here and then if you have any pain in the shoulders you can even do this. It's a nice variation to do every now and then. There you have it, some beautiful stretches to open out the shoulders. Please do let me know whether these, they've been beneficial. We cannot just do the muscles and expect the shoulders to completely open. You got to involve body, mind and prana. So I invite you to just sit still. Begin to visualize your body straight. In the right posture. Without the shoulders drooping and just as you would like to be seated or standing straight. Getting this right visualization. If you're not sure, if you're not able to visualize this, just watch a few pictures of a very fit athlete or yogi. That will give you the right alignment. Let's take two deep breaths. Inhale. Awareness from the base of your spine all the way up towards the eyebrow center. And as you pass through the throat, let it diffuse out into the shoulders so you get wider with the shoulders. You can even take your hands out like this. Exhale. Let's try that once more. Inhale. When you come to the throat, just start to stretch open, open. And now take your hands up, up the shoulders, change. The namaste. Namaste, thanks for joining in. There are other videos I've done where I've looked at the hips, hamstrings, lower back. Ultimately, all of this should lead you to be able to sit straight for a long period of time. Say you want to watch a sunrise and that the whole process from the preparation, from the dark, to the little bit of orange coming out, to the sun coming out, coming over a little bit. The whole process is going to take you 45 minutes, one hour. You should be able to sit like this. If you can't sit, you're not going to be able to experience, you're not going to be able to watch. Or on a full moon night, you want to sit for a long period of time. Let's start to train our body, our mind. It's not just the body. I train a lot of athletes, super fit. They don't have the composure though to sit still. Let's train our body, mind so that we can sit for long. So you've got to open out and strengthen. A lot of the strength work we'll do in different videos. Today was just about opening out the shoulders. But even doing simple things like this is going to start to strengthen the shoulders. Even keeping your hand like this for a while, doing Surya Namaskar, all of that. Thank you for joining in and do write in and let me know uh, what are the other videos you'd like me to cover. Namaste.